Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeam here. Today, we're finally going to be using Magearna in the Ubers tier where it was banned, I don't know, a month ago, maybe? Maybe less. But, Magearna does not have access to Heart Swap anymore. I have no idea why that move is not in the game. I felt like that had no competitive value in doubles. Maybe that's why they got rid of it. But, uh, it was really good with Magearna because it let it beat Combine Pokemon in OU like Runiclus and Latias. But it also allowed it to deal with Xerneas and Ubers. However, Magirna still does have one move that can let it maybe deal with Xerneas. And when I say maybe, I mean, yeah, it can still deal with Xerneas. And that is Power Swap. And the way Power Swap works is it swaps the attack and special attack stages with the target. So, when Xerneas goes for Geomancy, we're going to be taking that special attack. They'll still have their speed and special defense, but... I mean, its own ability will be boosting our uh, Flare Cannon anyway. And Xerneas is also the type of Pokemon that does not set up for free. We'll be able to take any hit, Pain Split back up the health, and then hit it with an attack after. So, shout out to Nora for the team. If you guys want to check out my website, PokeGameMD.com. The link is down below. And if you guys do enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. We're on our way to 260,000 subscribers, with my end of the year goal being 299. 999 plus 1k I, I couldn't i don't know why i couldn't remember 300 but yeah 300k is my end of the year goal we got a lot of cool stuff coming out this year i'm, I'm excited for pokemon snap next month uh we have diamond and pearl remakes coming out or remastered whatever you want to consider it uh we also have um I, I was watching dan's video and something about like sword and shield uh, dlc maybe happening uh, which is interesting to think about considering that will be the competitive stuff for the next generation anyway um so again is interesting here because it at least pseudo checks Zacian. this is actually a very scary team because they're all physical threats besides Kyogre but it does check Kyogre pretty well uh, my Groudon's really nice just precious blades hits my opponent's entire team for extremely hard damage and I absolutely love Eternatus Eternatus is beautiful in this game uh, Sludge Bomb, Dynamax Cannon, Mystical Fire, just offense. It's not offensive, it's it's a defensive variant because Kyogre is a problem. But, very, very strong and it matches up pretty well here. Necrozma should hopefully let me deal with this Calyrex Ice. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'll turn it this. Turn this has a pretty good matchup versus basically everything besides maybe the uh, Groudon. So, I'm actually leaning towards Giratina as a start. It does a Groudon and Kyogre in one. Got Kind of. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of. If this is Specs, it's a problem, right? Uh, we'll use Magirna here. If they Water Spot immediately, they got me. As they Ice Beam. Perfect. Now, I don't see a Flare Cannon switching on my opponent's team, so I'm just going to click it. I get a little bit of damage off on Groudon. That's going to open up my Giratina a little bit more later. Ooh, I get a lot of damage off on Groudon. We absolutely take those. 54 is not bad. So I think every single time Magirna comes in, we're just going to click that. Oh, I can Power Swap. Dragon Dance, uh, this goes through sub, doesn't it? Yeah, bypasses subs, but does not break it. Well, duh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to make the Giratina play as my opponent makes a very nice play and brings out their Zacian. Now, the team is pretty slow, so we have to be really careful around Zacian. Uh, it may just click Crunch here, because Crunch also hits Necrozma. Um, but, I mean, Necrozma's main role is to just come in on this thing anyway as they go for substitute. So, Crunch is not going to be able to... I, I really hope plus three Crunch is not going to be able to knock me out. I'm fully physically defensive. This thing could take on Zacian Crown. Please tell me it could take on this thing as well. Uh, we're just going to go right for another one. Yep, nice. I took nothing from that. Awesome. And I think because of the substitute, I actually KO them. Or not, because they have a very berry. Huh. This is going to be really close. Please be a dirty roll. Oh, no. So, few options here. Giratina. Zacian. Uh, some, I have a few options here. One of them is to lose. Uh, the other is to go Magirna and... Huh. I could take its plus three. Magirna could definitely eat one because it's Magirna. Right, so let's get rid of this. Let's put plus three. Close combat would be the only thing. Why is it plus four? Oh, get rid of it. Okay, so plus two because if it's Intrepid Sword, right? So close combat would be the only thing that could actually KO if it even KO'd, which it wouldn't. Groudon's going to be in my main role. Okay, so unfortunately I lose Necrozma and I may be losing my Magirna, which is going to make this thing a lot more threatening. 
because I don't trust the shadow sneak roll. So, yeah, this thing is annoying. <laughs> Team's really slow too, which makes a difference. We're just gonna flurk in here. I'll be able to eat the attack. Actually, they only have player off as their attack, so we're good. Nice. Uh, they don't even have close combat, most likely. So I'm okay with this. I'm definitely okay with this. Uh, I'm assuming they bring out their... Maybe they bring out Calyrex. Oh, if it's that agility, weakness policy one that they have on Rambats that I really want to use in a live sometime soon, I'll be threat. Uh, that'd be really cool uh, just to see it. But I think I needed to go for that. I didn't realize that they ran that set in particular. We're going to Volt Switch here. Does a Veltal eat this up? Because a Veltal is my only play. <laughs> if they go for the ice move, they, they immediately destroy me, right? If a Veltal does not eat this up, which I honestly don't think it does, uh, I haven't been playing. Uh, if you hear my dog in the background, she's just, you know, having fun. Uh, Glacial Lance. Oh, okay, cool. It has a million percent chance to KO. That's awesome. We're going to make the Magirna swap here. Dude, that did so much damage. That did so much damage. High horsepower into the gear that probably does a million too. 66 to 78%. Ooh, it's going to be close. 66 to 78. This is going to be a pain to play around. I got to get this right. Ah, they glacial list again. No. <laughs> They got me. Dude, this thing is a threat, man. Ah, they got me. Good game. We'll play. We'll play. Eternus can... Hmm. Eternus might be able to 1v1. Groudon is good too. I think I give him this. And go out to you and click Poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Good B. Alright, Giratina, your max attack. I need you. To KO. I don't even know if this KO. I can't even hit Zacian because they don't have an item anymore. Ah, I didn't KO. They could have a trick room though, which actually helps me. <laughs> which legitimately helps me here. So, they're going to go down. Kyogre comes out. Going to Poltergeist Kyogre. Yeah, we're going to Poltergeist Kyogre again. <laughs> they legitimately helped me out here. That's so funny. As they go ditto. I think I go Eternatus. And I click Sludge Bomb here because it hits Zacian and also Zekrom. And I pray that between my pressure mons, I can do good. Because they, they, they're locked into that move. So Sludge Bomb will knock out Zacian. Um, also, they may be thinking that I might not have an attack to hit Zacian. They might be thinking I don't have an attack to hit Zacian. Like, I'm a mystical fire on the rain. Maybe I'm toxic. So Zacian might be able to wall me. Maybe that, again, that, that might be what they're thinking. How much does Eternatus do to Eternatus? Oh, I can wall it. Oh my god, I can beat a 1v1. Okay, okay, I can potentially beat it 1v1. I can potentially beat it 1v1. Because I'm faster than you, for sure. How much does player off do from Zacian, though? It's not choice ban. You're not choice ban. Get rid of that. 52 to 60. Oh, this is going to be close, bros. This is going to be hella close. Because I recover stall ditto. That's for sure. I recover stall ditto. Yo, I thought I lost. But I mean, it's coming. It's, it gets a lot closer than I thought. Dude, I might be able to recover stall ditto because they have to be. They get pressured. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. Oh my god, I'm out of range. Yo. Oh, I'm still in range. Oh, what I what I remember. Let's go! Ooh, this is gonna be close! This is gonna be close! Come on, baby! Come on, get the lower roll, get the lower roll! Because I feel like if I Dynamax Cannon back... I came down to the roll! You know what, I'm very happy. 
that it came down to the roll in the end because good game because I thought I completely lost to to the Calyrex and I'm really happy that it came down to that roll in the end. I am. I'm actually I'm okay with losing that because I'm happy it came down to because if they didn't get that roll because it does uh, 52 to 61. Uh, so if they didn't get the higher roll like the 57 again, um, which is just above mid roll, so it's a little bit higher. If they didn't get that, I would recover once more. They go for another Dynamax cannon. All I would have to do would uh, be switch to Giratina on the last Dynamax skin uh, because they were pressured. So they used four, the first two attacks. So all I do is switch to Giratina on the last one, come back in with a Tyranus, and then they they struggle stall. So I almost brought it back because my opponent clicked Trick Room. That was so funny. Uh, I'm hoping that we get to actually see uh, Magir in a Power Swap though in the next one. But yeah, Zacian's a giant threat to the team. Uh, obviously, uh, the team's very, very slow. And that was something that uh, they... That Nora told me. But is this is annoying because no regenerative pit. The easy fix is Tang Growth over Giratina. But Tang Growth already kind of carried one video, so I want to use something else. And that's fine. Like, I don't mind using uh, Giratina over Tang Growth. Also, we could use Stone Edge here to bop Ho Oh. Uh, depending on how annoying Ho Oh is. Which it may end up being annoying. Hmm. We'll see. I'm very happy that we almost came back from that. And it, at the end of the day, like, from what almost was 100% win, it came down to a roll. Alright, so, we got the Magirna here. I'm going to be taking some boost from my opponent. Uh, Giratina is really good for destroying you. These guys get checked by this guy. Or Shifu is, is annoying. <laughs> Shifu is a problem, yo. But I got Magirna. And plus, we can Volt Switch around. I'm going to go Magirna because Magirna gets to just Volt Switch on everything. As they lead Xerneas. That's awesome. Uh, so, we just Volt Switch right now. As my opponent ends up going for that. I'm just going to sludge bomb as they probably Geomancy up next turn. What I also could have done was actually go hard into Magirna, but I think this is fine anyway. Ooh, I actually, uh, I actually swap the minus one to them as well, so that's pretty cool. I don't even know if they KO me now. <laughs> Yo! Hey, oh come on man, don't be doing that to me. But that's so sick. We beat Xerneas 1v1. We beat it. That's so sick, man. And because of its own ability, that's a guarantee KO right there. Nice, nice. Hey, I'll take it. Hey, alright, you gotta leave a life for Power Swap Magirna. It did it. I'm gonna keep it alive just because, I mean, it's still really good. It can come in on her Shifu. Uh, not close combats, but... Especially because Giratina is pretty decent here too. On the sun steel strikes. Now, Eveltal more than likely coming out here, but I still want to go for Poltergeist because I, I don't want to. I don't know my opponent's skill level just yet. Um, Sub Geomancy is really cool on Xerneas because a lot of the ways you deal with it is like I would try a Toxic or I, I couldn't Mystical Fire at what it turned is. Probably ate the Moonblast as well, but I don't know a lot of the calcs. I, I really enjoy Ubers. I really do enjoy Ubers, and it was really sad for me that Gemba didn't upload Ubers this week. I know he's been busy though doing a lot. Uh, so I decided to take it upon myself to upload Ubers. Now, I only need Giratina to click Shadow Sneak versus Calyrex, and Eveltal does the exact same. Uh, Eveltal just checks it with Foul Play anyway. Um, but Poltergeist is just super strong here. I could have Draco that turn as well, but again, we're going to gauge skill level, especially because um, Magirna should eat anything. Though Tarnus is typically the switch into this thing, Magirna should eat anything and just be able to just get it all back. Bro, that did nothing. I wonder if they have taunt. I'm pain splitting because all Ubers have a million HP. <laughs> that is the rule. All of them, all Ubers must have a million HP. The fact that it's actually better for me to go for Volt Switch here. Let me go for Volt Switch. If they're life or heat wave, it's whatever. Because I can come back in later and take two hits from a Veltal. And if they if they stay in and I get the Volt Switch off. Then I can bring out Eternatus and just click Mystical Fire and knock them out from that range. Yep. So I should be able to KO them with Mystical Fire. Do I have to click? Does it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming. That's 75 base power. Maybe it doesn't. Whatever, I'm going for it. Actually, Dynamax Cannon is the thing that hits everything on their team and also guarantee knocks them out. So let's go for Dynamax Cannon there and get rid of the off. Still worried about our Shifu, but uh, Wicked Blow gets stalled. Maybe I should worry about you. No, you only have Hal. And I should be able to deal with you via Thunder Wave from Necrozma. Maybe these things are how rest talk though. Like that Zamazentization stuff. That was that 
Um, that was that one set. Man, that did nothing. <laughs> Let's just click the yellow color. Hey. Let's just click the yellow color right now. Let's get this nice little Thunder Wave off. I'll get up rocks too. And at this point, Poltergeist are going to be really, really strong as well. Um, Same thing. Yellow color seems to be the right play. Especially because I'm physically defensive. I don't think they could do much to me. And I can go with Veltal and just click Foul Plays now. Foul Plays should be doing decent chunks to everything. And maybe not Zelda Zenta. Also, Giratina can come in. And again, I don't have to worry about Giratina's health. I just need it so it can deal with... Um, I just need it so I can deal with this. So, I'll Draco here. I'm going to drop a Draco just because her Shifu looks like the only... And this is why you don't predict, by the way. Went unnecessary. I didn't have to. They click Earthquake again, expecting me to double. <laughs> I, I I didn't have to click that. I just did it just in case they went her Shifu because I wanted to get a greedy kill. Uh, but it wasn't necessary. Oh, God. They were weakness policy. I'm actually... Oh, no. They crit me. <laughs> That's unfortunate, man. Very, very, very unfortunate. Okay. We'll go with Veltal here. Quick foul play. Actually, you turning out is better. Okay, yo, Necrozma at 5. And it potentially lets me get some HP with Magirna. If they try and sub Nasty Plot, I'll just, you know, take it back from them. So it should be no problem. Ooh, I wonder if they get full paralyzed here. Why not? Let's go for it. They did not. However, my friend Lifeworm Groudon is a threat. And I shall be clicking the first Pressers Blades of this live. <laughs> I shall be clicking the first Blunder's so funny. Uh, guys, by the way, he already announced it on his video, but we're, uh, we're starting Megas to High Ladder tomorrow. Tomorrow, Megas to High Ladder is coming up. Ooh, Life of KOs through that. That's so sick. Anyway, even if her sheep was bulk up, I just need a little bit of damage. Uh, Calyrex is, is not a problem at all. We bring out a Veltal. Energy ball. I guess if it's sub bulk up. No, I'm pretty sure Turner still beats it 1v1. I'm pretty sure. It, it's, it's like, Life Orb is strong, but at worst case, it didn't nasty. And, and if it's energy ball, like, what is it going to actually do to me? Alright, so, Urshifu comes out. I'm definitely not going to foul play a four times resistant Mon, even if it has a million attack. We're going to U-turn. I'm so happy I got the power swap with Magirna already. I'm very happy about that. Oh, it's the other Urshifu. Somehow that's, that's not, like, as bad, but... Yeah, that's not as bad at all. Uh, it being, uh... It being the other, this Urshifu is a lot easier, in my opinion, to deal with. And the great thing is Sun is up too, so even if they have random Ice Punch, they can't freeze me in Sun. So, um, and let's say they're, they're, well, I resist, but let's say they were Scarf and somehow crit through me. Um, I have the, they would have to, I mean, they crit through me here. As you can see, it's, it's doing nothing. You always forget, I mean, I always forget. I already revealed Sludge Bomb. Yeah, good game, dude. Alright, I always forget that, um, uh, like, that, I already know the damage of Surging Strike and Wicked Blow. I'm like, oh, crap, what if that move crit twice? <laughs> I feel like I, me and Blunder, I mean, Blunder talked about that before, but I, I feel like we really, really, really felt that way about that move. It's like, okay, as long as they don't crit me with this Wicked Blow. But you know what I mean, right? Like, as long as they don't do extra damage, then the damage they already... Imagine there were super crits in the game. What if they add that? What if they add that? Super crits. You know what super crits were? Super crits were any critical hits before Gen 6. Because crits that do two times damage are broken. Period. They are broken. Period. Okay, so this guy is once again a threat and it is back. Uh, I have Shadow Sneak and Poltergeist and stuff like that too. Um, I can check the ditto, I guess. Eternus is always really good here. Uh, this mod is problematic. Luckily, they don't have a Zacian, though, so I can actually check it a little bit easier with my Necrozma, so I'm happy about that. They could be weakness policy as well. It's something I want to worry about. I love Magirna because Volt Switch, I get to basically Volt Switch for free versus something. And this is Calyrex, so I get to Volt Switch versus Calyrex. Immediately. Unless they're max speed. 
and I'll just go right out to Necrozma. So I got a nice free Volt Switch here as I go out to their Necrozma. And uh, one other thing that's pretty cool here is the fact that my Life Orb Groudon destroys them. But I want Rocks Up to pressure them first and then to be able to go Groudon. Actually, no. No, I don't. They should never leave this thing in. How fast are these guys going? 308 speed? That's a ridiculous amount, man. Oh, Stone Edge. Like, you should be good enough to know that you should always go a Veltal here. You shouldn't just click rocks with this Pokemon. Let's go. Okay, let's, let's gauge. I tell, uh, let, let's see how they play. Let me go for this. Because if I get the KO on Necrozma, it's actually better than me getting the KO on a Veltal. Because a Veltal is always checked, in my opinion, by a good chunk of my team. And I can safely just bring out Magearna here and just Volt Switch again and again. So. I'm assuming they get up Rocks with Necrozma now. Or they go Calyrex again as they go Eternatus. No way you do any type of damage with Mystical. Uh, even with Flamethrower, yeah. There's no way you do that much damage back. They go ahead and Pain Split up right now. Not bad. I, I want more Pain Splits, bro. Bring them back. I actually took a good chunk from that. I'm gonna pain split once more. Just because Sun's about to end, and I can give them my uh, special attack drop, if anything. Yes, yeah, so I can Flare Cannon here, and then I can give them my special attack drop. So that'll give me the option to Pain Split once more, and then Volt Switch. So you can take that. There you go. And now I can Volt Switch safely out of this Pokemon. I did waste two Flare Cannons by attacking a Pressure Pokemon, but it's cool. Because it allows me to get in my, my Grottle once more, and I'm still going to click Precious Blades. I don't care about a Veltal coming in. I don't want them healing in front of me. This thing is a threat. I'm going to click Precious Blades. I'm Life Orb. I'm going to attack the Necrozma Dustman in front of me. This is one of my biggest threats. And again, I'm going to play the uh, I'm gonna play the long game versus it. I'm going to play the long game versus it. Because I don't want them ended up being a fast variant. They'll get it so sick that I got that damage. So that's going to open up. Yeah, that's going to open up my, uh, my mind a lot. So they go for knockoff. Um, I don't know if they're Scarf or not. Okay, they're not. Good. So I guess maybe they're not Foul Play? Maybe? So at this point, we're in the sun. I'm still going to go out to Grout on here. And I'm still clicking Press's Blades. You're probably like, bro, what the hell, man? Just hit the Avalt. I'm just worried about... First of all, I don't want to miss, which is going to be annoying. Secondly, I mean, I can do it now. That's the thing. I can hit it too now. Foul play is good for you guys. I can't rock polish sweep them. I don't I don't care about uh, Cosmo coming back in and, and getting the full HP. That doesn't matter to me. Do you, kill, do you KO me at 57%? These guys sometimes run uh, Marshadow. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Spectre Thief doesn't KO me, though. So you're not going to go for that. You're going to go for close combat. And Eternus, are you 2 a KO by this attack? Spectre Thief doesn't 2 a KO Eternus either, so we're good. Nice. That's hella. <laughs> Yo, that did. That's banded. Okay, so we know they're banded, which is good. Not good, but it's not terrible. I'm gonna click Mystical Fire here. It hits Necrozma. It also uh, lets me come in on a Veltal. They may U turn or just go for knockoff, but we bring out Magirna here as they go out to Necrozma. And we'll Volt Switch on that. Uh, we'll get up Rocks this time as well. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fair to get up rocks here and then Thunder Wave after. Yeah, if you want to get the, if you want to play the rocks game, I'll play the rocks game too. Uh, they're definitely gonna bring out Marshadow now. 
Awesome. Okay, awesome. This is the position I want. Because their last move is Roost. They don't have Fop play. Okay, well, good. I got the information. That's all the information I needed, guys. I know you're probably like, why the hell didn't you stone it? First of all, I probably don't even have to stone it now. I probably don't even have to stone edge now. Like now, well, I mean, I, I will. <laughs> I will be stone edging. So we're going to stone edge, life orb, adamant, right into a Veltal, and a Veltal dies. There you go. I don't think I killed from full, and now it's dead. I don't think I killed from full, and now it's dead. And now look how big of a threat my Groudon is. So I patiently waited for it to see if I had foul play, because that way I felt safe going for this. I could also SD up at a point as well. So it's a giant threat, completely gone. Calyrex Ice comes out. We bring out my physically defensive. Necrozma does main. I have Sun up so I can actually Morning Sun as well their damage. Hmm. Plus two. High horse power. Does not kill me. I'm just going to hit him though. Do not KO me there. I do a million damage back as they get their weakness policy, which is fair. Uh, do I want to be a, a man and go Giratina? Uh, Giratina is not the play. The play is actually to, I think, Sack Magirna. I think the play is to Sack Magirna now. They may just go right for Glacial Lance, but I don't think they can. They can't reverse sweep me. And if I go Magirna, I can power swap if they try and like reverse Trick Room. Yep, so that goes down. Sun Steel Strike does that much, which means that Giratina Shadow Sneak does 28 to 34. Foul play will pick up the KO at a point. Mm, you're important. You're very important. I rather them I rather them KO me. Yeah, I rather let them KO me there. And then bring out you and just click foul play. For sure, I think that's the play. Because foul play, foul play is, is stupid good versus them. And that mom being in range of every single one of my attacks and me being able to click, uh, click press his blades now with my Groudon is, is phenomenal. So like basically I get kill. Why are they so slow? And they crit me, okay. And they, it doesn't kill Eternatus. I'm definitely fast. I shouldn't have risked it, but it doesn't kill Eternatus. I'm faster for sure. And I'd be able to, uh, it doesn't kill me. I'm faster. And I'd be able to pressure stall them out of their Dynamax cannons. But of course. <laughs> now I'm probably going to lose to Eternatus. <laughs> Legit. Damn it, man. Marshadow maybe comes out or Groudon. I guess Groudon can't really touch me though. That's so whack, man. Why did they crit me? We already saw the damage it does. I literally pressure stall it. Uh, and if I pressure stall it, then Giratina beats them 1v1 or at least stalls them out 1v1, man. I'm so. <laughs> it has not been good for my Eternatus today. Um. Mm. Man. Okay, we'll figure it out. I mean, you definitely die. They want to get a little bit of chip damage on me, for sure. I'm still going to go for Precious Blades. I know you're trying to get chip damage on me for, for Marshadow, that's for sure. Even if they stone edge here, it doesn't matter. I go out to Giratina. Poison, Dragon. Alright, I Draco Meteor now. Because Draco Meteor into Shadow Sneak will do enough to a turn. I should have uh, Poltergeist there. But we get rid of Mar Shadow. I mean, I guess I stall out Eternatus. With a Veltal.
I know they're slower than me. Unfortunately. <laughs> they do have toxic. Ah, this is gonna be annoying. This is gonna be close. That's hella annoying, man. I think they're gonna flame now. I think they're gonna flame now. Yeah. What I need to do is take their Dynamax cannons from them. Which I could have done with my own. Ah, <laughs> uh, three more Dynamax cannons. I have rest on Giratina, so like I said, I'm not as worried about that. Two more Dynamax cannons. Two more Dynamax cannons. One more Dynamax can. I don't think they go for it here. I don't think they go for Dynamax can here. Yep. Some are resting their face. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with Elto. And take their flamethrowers. So I don't I like I said, I don't think they went for Dynamax Cannon that turn. And flamethrowers, whatever. Like they, they only have one Dynamax Cannon left, so they can't knock out my Groudon. There's 19 plus 25. Better for me to U-turn. And I always switch here, because I don't want them copying me with Giratina, but Dynamax Cannon also won't knock me out. I foul play right into this mod, I guess. Because I'm faster, and I win, baby! Let's go! A little taste, baby. That's just a little taste. That's just a little taste. Unless you crit me with Dynamax Cannon on my Giratina, I guess. Nope. Good game. Woo! Alright, we're on that. Uh, honestly, Power Swap Mag was pretty cool. In general, Mag was useful. I wish we won the first game. That would have been so sick, man. That would have been so sick to win the first game. But I'm glad we at least won this last one. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. You guys can check out the team on my website, Pokemon.com. Uh, shout out to Nora. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.